Well, Jake, that's, that's quite a remarkable night's work. What are your thoughts and feelings on the back of that one? Uh, yeah, a little bit um, a little bit in shock, actually. I think it was just the wickets just kept coming and coming. And I think we've, we've, we've had one of these games in us for a, for a few games now. I think our, our, our bowling has got better and better as, as the tournament's moved on. Um, me and me and Fletcher are starting to, to work the power play a lot better, and the, the spinners have just done done what they what they always have done. So um, I think yeah, I think I think we've we've had this performance coming for a while. Um, so yeah, it's nice to to put that in today and 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 beat the Bears. And is it on, on a ground like this that's known as a bit of a fortress, lively atmosphere, big stadium, away team? Is there something that's sort of even more rewarding about winning a game like this in a venue like this? Yeah, I think it, it kind of plays to to our strengths as well. I think we've got a lot of players in there that love the big occasion, love playing in front of the crowds. Uh, we're used to playing in front of big crowds at Trent Bridge, big sort of a, a good a good atmosphere. So so it sort of feels quite nice. And um, yeah, I think I think we we just sort of we handled it really well today. Um, it was a bit of a lively crowd to start, but you know, the batters put on a, an amazing score. We thought was was above par and, and we just had to go out there and, and, and defend it as, as we did. We'll come on to your bowling in a minute. First of all, how would you describe the sort of levels of sheer talent on show during that, that opening stand between Ben Duckett and Alex Hales? Yeah, it's, um, I'd, I'd found it tough to bowl at with, with one guy, six, six foot plus and, and Ducky, uh, sort of the little little hit into the pockets guy. It's, it's really hard because Ducky plays the spin so well and, and Baz plays the seam so well. So it's it's 50-50 for, for the opposition side and you know they, they get us off to a flyer and I think that, that partnership early on really set, set the game up for us and put us in a position to get the score that, that we ended up getting. It's another exceptional performance from Samit Patel. What could, what could a young player watching learn from, first of all, the way he goes about it with the bat and the way he really puts himself in the battle with the ball and in the field? Uh, I think it's his, his confidence, his will to constantly want to be in the game. Um, at any point of the game, even if it's the first or last over, Samit would want to bowl it. He wants to be in the game, and I think that's why he is so successful. There's, there's no hesitation in his cricket. He 100% believes in his ability, um, and at the minute, it's coming off, and you know, he's, he seems to be just getting better and better with age. And what's your assessment of Calvin Harrison's achievements as a Notts cricketer during his short career so far? Uh, very impressed. Um, I, I captained the, the second team game, um, the, the first one that he played. Um, and I said to Morsey after that, I think we've got a, got a serious player on our hands and he, he's gone on to, to prove that in this, in this tournament. I think with, with not having any overseas, Imad has been a big part of our setup over the last couple of years um, and we felt that, that was going to be a big miss, but Calvin stepped straight into his, his shoes and, and he's, he's, he's become a, a mainstay on this side. You came back into the blast side after a period out injured. Do you think you've worked your way up to somewhere near your best now? Yeah, I feel like I'm getting there. It's, it's a tough format to, to try and work yourself back into because you, you're slightly off and, and you get punished. And I found that early on, um, probably not quite 100% uh, there. But I feel like as the, as the tournament's gone on, um, you, know, you, you sort of settle into a nice rhythm. And like I said, me, me and Fletch have been working together as, as, as the two main seamers just to, to sort of bounce ideas off each other, see what we're seeing. Because every, every year we come back and teams are trying something different against us. So um, we feel like we're in a, in a really good position um, at the minute, at the start and at the death. So um, thing at show our death skills today, but um, we have in the past. Well, during that period when you first came back into the team, was there some patience to be shown both from yourself in terms of getting to your best and also from those selecting the team and all that side of things? Was that important for you? Yeah, definitely. I think um, I, I said after the first couple of games, I, st I still felt a little bit bit rusty you know the it's not just the the physical side of it it's the mental side of it making sure that your decision making is is on point um, you sometimes have to have to make split second decision if you see a batter go down for a ramp and things like that you just have to to sharpen those things as well and when you haven't played for a while uh, they, they do take a bit of match practice so um, yeah grateful for for the guys for sticking sticking with me and um, hopefully just keep getting better and better now as the tournament goes on. And finally, not to top in the group, how would you describe that as, a, as an achievement so so far? It's a great achievement. I think, to be honest, I think the, the last two two games have been, been our biggest achievement, having missing three players, three pretty key players for, for us, um, not just this season, but in the in the seasons gone by, um, for the lads to, to step up and, and do, do what they've done. And 
for us to, to just carry on the momentum that we, we've had in the tournament just shows the, the strength and depth and you know, the, the lads that might not even been in the squad, people like Slats um, wasn't in the squad for the first half of the tournament, is showing you know, he's, a, he's an exceptional T20 player as well. Jay Ball, thanks very much. Thank you.